Now, your first defense forecast with Dakota Hunter. And thank you for logging on to WNYNewsNow.com for checking out your first defense forecast. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Let's break down your forecast for this Tuesday. Mostly cloudy skies early. Otherwise, snow will come our way in the afternoon and it will increase in coverage pretty much later this afternoon and tonight as a nor'easter is going to track along the east coast and throw us some wraparound snow. But it will be another chilly day, 27 to 33 with a northwest breeze of 9 to 16 miles per hour. So the wind also comes up, but the wind comes up, especially tomorrow, blowing a lot of that snow around. But as I mentioned, uh, that nor'easter that's tracking along the east coast will bring us some snow. So the National Weather Service has put up a couple of winter uh, warnings for us. Now, first of all, we have a winter uh, storm warning for pretty much the southern tier. That's all these counties here shaded in this pink color, and that goes until 2 a.m. on Thursday. And for everybody else, there is a winter um, uh, there's a, a winter weather advisory in place for everybody else. Now, originally they had issued the winter weather advisory firsthand for all of Western New York. Then they upped it to a winter storm warning for the southern tier. And, and that's mainly because we're going to add lake enhancement into this whole thing. So the hills are going to see significantly more snow than probably anybody else. And I'll break down those snow totals in a minute. But uh, so winter storm warning for the southern tier, everybody else, a winter weather advisory. Now, where is our nor'easter, you might be asking? There it is right there. It's that low pressure area that's spinning around. Now all these arrows is the wind direction and you can see how the wind is just circulating right around the storm. You can see how the how the arrows actually correspond to the changing of wind. It's really cool. And uh, but again, that's all the wind direction. This slow pressure and just like what happened last week with our uh, nor'easter last week, this is going to steal moisture from this. And even though as this backs up the uh, you know, up the coast going up into Maine, our snow really gets going as it moves away from New England. So this is going to be another devastating storm for New England. We're talking probably two plus feet of snow out in that direction. But let's give you the first defense on everything for our area that, that you're going to need to know. So as I mentioned, this is the third nor'easter in 10 days to impact the northeast. Woof, winter came back with a vengeance this month. And uh, now even though that this storm is going to be further offshore than the other two, it will throw wraparound snow our direction and that's where our snow is going to be coming from. It's going to be coming from the outer bands from the wraparound snow. And there's going to be a connection to this with the lakes as I mentioned. So there's going to be a connection all the way to the upper lakes. That's going to allow lake enhancement into this whole thing. So bumping up totals, especially on the hills. And I hope you haven't put your shovels away because this will be a shovelable snow. Once again, let's take you through that here on future scale. And I've widened out the view to show you this whole storm in perspective. This is it right here. And again, this is what we call bombogenesis. That is a meteorological word, by the way. And you can see it works up the, um, the coast, another devastating, paralyzing storm for New England. And you can see already some evidence of lake connection coming in our way. This is when we're going to start getting into the snow potential from this as it moves up the coast. Then we get into that lake enhancement. So let's zoom into our area. You can see the snow will continue. Then it starts to infiltrate in as that wraparound snow starts to come in. The darker blues to uh, purples indicate the heavier amounts of snowfall. Now, earlier on, we thought this was going to be more on again, off again. That doesn't look like it's going to be the case. It will be probably for today, but for tomorrow, it's going to be more of a widespread event. And some of this could be moderate to heavy at times, so uh, that will lay down some pretty good snowfall. So how much snow? We're probably going to go on an average of four to eight inches. That's a general range. But once you rise up into the hills, probably seven to 14 on average, that's local amount. So average totals four to eight, localized seven to 14. And that seven to 14, the best bet of that is going to be right along the hilly terrain. So if you live on higher terrain, expect seven to 14. If you live pretty much anywhere else that's not on a hill, expect around four to eight. So this is another shovelable event. Get those shovels ready, the salt, you're gonna need them. Here come the next seven days of your life that are brought to you by Quick Solutions. 27 will be the average high for tomorrow. Oh man, that is chilly. The average high is 41, by the way. Ow, that's not gonna feel good. But hey, the temperatures go up into the 30s for Thursday, but snow will continue. And then it starts to clear out for the weekend. 38 on Saturday for St. Patrick's Day. Not too bad, but still a little chilly. And the take of that, we go back into the 40s for the later part of the weekend into early next week. But how long will that last? I can't say at this point.